Hello, this is the presentation of my interpretation of the Wally robot. So based on this image here, I tried to create the uh, same look and feel as the Wally. So here's the design of my track threads. So I've got the yellow, the yellow one from the bulldozer, and the black one here from the skidoo. The other ones are just free rolling. So that's the threads here. They are controlled by two power function motors here. Now this is a prototype, eh? I'm just putting my pieces together to get a feel of what I'm going to be working with here, size-wise. So, these two motors here are for the arm controls. I've got my arms here that work on a pivot. And I can have a motor here to open and close the claws. So right now, you got the opening and the closing of the claws. And let's see how the power function works. Here's the power function. I've got, of course, this thing is all falling apart here because I'm in a very prototypish mode right now. Actually, I'm posting this video because I need some ideas. Here we go. So you got one arm here, independent. And one arm there, independent. Of course, all those will be controlled with the NXT once I connect my infrared link to it. The NXT will be located somewhere around here. I haven't quite decided how yet. This is my interpretation of the head. It was a very hard one to figure out, but I think it kind of looks like kind of looks like that. I've seen nice ones though on YouTube. Interesting ideas. One I've seen very recently was to use these uh these tubes, or my tubes, I got a box with tubes, these guys here. I've seen one who used, who used those, that would have been a good idea too, I could have used those. Actually, I might redo it. Anyways, so I've got these little things there, it kind of looks like the head. Yeah, it kind of looks like the head, and of course the head will be motorized as well. So here's my sensor in the middle here, that's the head design. It's a pretty interesting one, I would have liked it. So my Wally, Wally, Wally. That's my Wally head for now. So everything's wobbly. The idea is to see if everything will fit in a square box. And I believe I will be able to fit everything in a square box. You see, square box here. I'll have place for my battery pack. I've got place for my sensors here. My IR sensors. I would have place for the for the NXT, but I had to remove the battery pack because it doesn't fit. But I'll, I'll redesign everything so that it does fit. And I got my two arms. Oh, here's the arm design actually. Pretty interesting. So you got the joints, and the claw opens up like this, and then the whole thing can turn like that. Now I've kind of cheated. This is a, a piece I made for another design. I got a few of these big wheels, you see, I drilled, I drilled the, uh, the X here in the middle. You see the X here? I drilled it. This allows for the shaft to free roll in it. And then I can have, you see, the part snapping here, thus making it allow to turn the middle and then rotate the whole thing for the arm. Anyway, it's kind of a, a cool... It, Lego should actually make a piece like that. It would be useful. Okay, so that's my Wally for now. Oh wait, I didn't even show the action of the... Where's my remote? Here's the wheel action. Woohoo! Pretty quick one. Bang. Alright, so that's it. My Wally falling apart here. Ah, broken Wally. All right. Stay tuned for the actual finished one.